What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and today Corsair Stronghold PvP went live for the consoles so make sure you grab a friend, grab a few friends actually and spend upwards of, I don't know, an hour to two hours at most queuing up for one of the most talked about game modes since launch and unfortunately after an hour of so queuing up with a full group ready multiple groups of 20 and multiple groups of 5, we were unable to get a queue to pop on the Xbox One. So I'm not really sure what's going on with that. I guess this is confirmation that PlayStation is Master Race. So you know what that means. Your boy is going to be picking up a PlayStation pretty soon in a couple of months. But we got some exciting news today regarding a future event for the console port of Terra, that being a Strongbox jackpot event. And for those of you that have been following my channel for quite some time, then you already know what this means. And for those of you that don't know, we're going to be talking about that here next. <laughs> So for those of you who aren't really familiar with this, the Strongbox Jackpot event is an event that comes around every couple of months or so. And during this time, players can open an assortment of different strong boxes and get rewards based on what comes out of said strong box. So if you were to open a extensive strong box, you would get jackpot rewards based off of Alkahest. If you were to open a spellbind strong box, you would get jackpot rewards based off of the spellbind jackpot but also with this strong box jackpot event uh there is a jackpot chance of getting crystal binds blacksmith additives enigmatic scrolls tier 10 and maybe tier 11 feedstock and one of the most important things that can change the way you play your character and that being smart dyad structures and you're probably wondering okay what in the world are smart dyad structures and what makes them so smart i'm actually going to have a more detailed video coming out about these in the next couple of days so i can show you guys visually what they are, the difference in them between the dyad structures, the nivet structures, and the smart structures. But to simplify it in a couple of words, the smart dyads are crystals that you can custom make with three other crystals of the same color to have more than one custom stat on your crystals at a time. And they also do not get destroyed when you die. So if you have all dyad crystals, you'll never have to use another spell or a crystal bind in your life. But going back to the Strongbox Jackpot event, I'm actually gonna have a link posted down below on the forum post that Cobalt posted earlier today. Now the developers want our suggestions on this event. So this is the time again where you as a player have a voice. Not to say that we don't ever have a voice, but we have more of a voice now. And I have already commented on it and gave my suggestions. So if you guys wanna support my ideas, feel free to vote up my suggestions. But here's pretty much what I suggest to be in this Strongbox Jackpot event. So with the way that things are going now in the game with the player base decreasing in some areas because feedstock farming, guilds aren't really active, uh, there's really not much for people to do at this time. And I think tier 10 and tier 11 feedstock need to be a priority in this jackpot. And I think the jackpot needs to be around 500 plus feedstock. Since the elite boxes give you 500 and multiple people can get that jackpot more than once, I think this would allow people to uh, get more feedstock and not have to struggle as much as going through multiple dungeon runs, you know, lasting a couple hours just to end up with like 20 or, fo 20 or so feedstock just to have that feedstock fail when upgrading or enchanting your equipment. Um, I also suggest that maybe tokens or a jackpot of like 100,000 gold could be beneficial. And maybe even a jackpot of strongbox keys. Maybe like 50 keys or like 100 keys or even a jackpot of loot boxes in general that you don't have to buy. Hell, I know people love buying and selling costumes so why not add some of those fancy 
Ellen costumes in there too to spice up people opening lockboxes. But I really don't have much to say about this event anymore. It's a really big event and it's super beneficial. And that's why you need, you absolutely need need to save your keys because if you're a new player or you're struggling in obtaining certain roles on your gear, feedstocks, spellbinds, alcahest, whatever it may be, this event will help you regardless. So remember, recycle, throw away the trash, help old ladies cross a road, and most importantly, save your goddamn strong box keys, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know why you guys have been opening your strong boxes now before the event. I mean, I've been saying this on Twitter, YouTube, Terra, Twitch, streaming, save your keys, save your keys, save your keys. But as we come to a close, I want to know from you guys, what are some of your top suggestions that you want to see added to the strong box event? I'll be choosing a few and adding them to my comment if they're already not there already. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. And until next time, I really hope CS queues for the Xbox two hour queues with nothing popping is an absolute disgrace. But other than that, I will see you guys on the next one.